In the DC Guide to Comic Book Inking, Klaus Jansen talks about how important it is to not stop your line at the panel border, but instead to draw through the line so you get a, a better, more natural feel. You don't get those globs of ink at the end there, right? So what this means is that when you're done with all this drawing, you have to go over to the eraser tool and erase the extra stuff here. It's a lot easier digitally. You're not using whiteout. That's awesome. But what if you're the type of person that wants to go back and forth? You want to start with the pen, draw your couple lines here, then maybe you look over at your keyboard, you hit the E button for erase, you erase your stuff, you stop, you look over at the keyboard, you find the P button on the other side, and you draw back through again. Yes, my inking skills are horrible. That's not the point of this lesson. Hit the E again, ink, uh, erase all those extra inks, etc. I have another idea. There's a simpler way to do this, and you only ever have to touch one key. Clip Studio Paint has a neat little trick where you can sort of have an alternate key. If you hold down on the key, you'll be able to use that tool for as long as you're holding down on it. When you release the key, it goes back to the previous tool you were already on. So in this case, I'm hitting the P so I can go back to my pens, or in this case, it's actually a brush. And I can just put my hand on the keyboard over the E button because I'm going to be using the eraser tool next. So let me just draw a few of these lines. And then to erase it, I hold down the E. It switches over to the eraser. While I'm still holding down, I do the erasing I need to do. Let go of the E button. I'm back to my pen tool or, you know, brush tool, whatever you want it to be. Hold down the E, erase. Back to the pen automatically. You can just keep doing that. Now, I'm just using sort of a made-up example here, but there are different... Times, I'm sure, when you're using Clip Studio Paint, where you're going back and forth between two different tools. Perhaps uh, you're smudging some watercolor you're putting down or something. I don't know. Maybe you're doing a light erase job over some color that you're putting in to try to create a highlight or something. If you're going back and forth between two tools, keep your main tool on and just use the alternate tool with a, a key. Just hold down the key on the keyboard to use that, and then you'll all be done. So again, I'm with the brush here, with my pen tool. Writing it down, drawing them out, holding down the E to erase, and as soon as I let go, back to the pen tool again. Hopefully this will help you out with your use of Clip Studio Paint. For more information, for more tutorials, go to learncsp.com. Thanks for listening. I'm Augie DeBleek.